supposed to be down ready for the bus, and I just want my mom to find some scissors and chop it off. Wow. And how much did that weigh? Do you have any idea? It weighed a pound. So then I had to work for a point eight. <laughs> Uh, I just had another question, if you don't mind. Uh, what happened to your friend who passed away? Um, he passed away in his sleep. Oh. Yeah. Just natural causes? Yeah. Um, you know, it was something to do with his heart. And so uh, he was really young. He was only 34. And I actually, I met him the very first time that I faced off with Jessica. And we just became really good friends. We'd go to all the UFCs together, just kind of meet up in Vegas, and just had a lot of fun. And then one day, uh, it was really crazy because Two days prior, we were talking about our birthdays. His birthday was a week ago, so we were like, we're gonna come out to this card and we're gonna have fun. Uh, I didn't think I'd get on the card. So we just kind of planned it as a birthday weekend. And two days after that, I got a phone call that he passed away in his sleep. So then with all that, all the emotion, how satisfying is this victory? Is this the most important victory of your career? You know, it's, it's very important to me for all the reasons that I definitely just listed. Um, but just in general, I mean, I feel like a lot of the fights that I've already been in, especially the ones that have gone to decision, uh, one thing that I really proved tonight was the fact that no more judges. I don't see any more judges in my future bouts. And, um, you know, it, it was the start of my revenge tour. Jessica was the first person, and I look forward to facing the rest. So, I mean, to get an awesome victory like tonight, especially against one of the girls that was in that revenge tour, I mean, it's very satisfying. So we get revenge tours, mean Holly Holmes next on that list? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I've faced Holly Holm, I've faced Kat Zingano, I've faced Leslie Smith. All those girls that I have lost to, either at Decision, um, Kat, she was the first girl to ever submit me. So they're definitely, that's kind of my way to turn around my career. I mean, I have a record that's 6-6 six and six now, and I think a lot of those losses, I beat myself before I even walked into that cage. So I definitely want to show the fighter that I really am, and I plan to turn it around. How big a deal is to move up the rankings? You know, it's exciting. Um, it's something that I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to. I mean, I feel like there's things within myself, with inside myself uh, as an athlete and as a fighter that I have to prove to myself. And the rankings, I think, are just, uh, I kind of see it as politics in that area. I'm the one that kind of ranks myself and where I'm going to be. So, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's so exciting to move up. And switching gears, how do you think Holly's going to stack up with Ronda and that big car with you being in the cage with her? Uh-oh. <laughs> You know, I mean, uh, I wish both fighters the best of luck. Um, I don't think it's right that Holly just walked right into the UFC and hasn't really faced a whole lot of talent here on the UFC level. Um, and then she right away jumped to the title shot. But like I said, politics, so everybody's getting what they want. The fact that you dropped her, do you think Ronda can drop her? Was you being familiar with her from the show and stuff? Yeah, I mean, it's a fight. Anything can happen. And I think uh, Ronda's a very talented fighter, and I think she's going to bring it to Holly. Raquel, a lot of people are going to call this an upset. This is a gambling town. We talk odds all the time. Were you aware that you were a two and a half to one underdog? And did that motivate you? Or? You know, I don't really pay attention to any of that. I mean, at the end of the day, we're fighters. We come in here. This is our job. Um, I just have a passion for the sport, and this is what I come to do. I don't really care when it comes to the bets and how people really view me as a fighter. I know what talent I bring to the table. And um, like I said, I mean, this was the beginning of the revenge tour to turn things around. and. I think, uh, I think those bets will surely change. Uh, Alex Chambers told us that uh, she looked up to you, watched your career, and when she met you for the first time a couple of days ago, she was starstruck. She didn't know what to say. From your perspective, what was it like meeting a fellow fighter who held you in such high regard? You know, I mean, it's inspiring. A lot of people, they may be inspired by me, but I don't think they realize that it definitely motivates me and pushes me to be a better person and a better fighter. So, I mean, especially, there's so many girls out there with so much talent. So to actually get the inputs of other people and how they actually view you as a fighter, I mean, it's really uplifting. And, um, it's like I said, it's inspiring. Uh, it was definitely a pleasure to meet her, and I'm definitely rooting for her.